迎收看一百零八年度外交小尖兵英语种子队选拔活动的总决赛。我是今天的主持人杨小丽，嗨！哇，大家都非常有活力哦。我们呢，今年的主题是新时代愿景，新南向同行 ，New South Wales Policy a New Vision for the New Generation。我们现在看到现场所有的同学们呢，他们都是。过五关斩六将，而且针对主题，经过非常非常长时间准备，还有缜密的思考，才能够入选成为今天总决赛的这些选手们，给他们热烈掌声，欢迎你们！嗯、好，接下来要介绍评审老师喽。接下来要为各位介绍今天重量级的评审老师。首先，第一位欢迎到国立台中教育大学英语学系王雅英教授。接着欢迎亚洲大学外国语文学系穆马素教授 ，Mas Masli Poor，Welcome。接着欢迎世新大学英语学系李正清教授。欢迎文藻外语大学英国语文系林文川教授，欢迎国立台湾大学政治学系黄凯平教授。今天呢，我们能够成为前三名的外交小尖兵们，就会在寒假的时候有机会可以前往我们的新南向的一些国家进行外交。参访外交部给他们非常棒的机会，但是呢，你面对海外的友人，还有一些海外的专业人士，你的英文能力真的非常非常重要。因此，首先我们先要邀请到评审老师给同学来一些重点提示。首先要欢迎到的就是王雅英教授，欢迎王教授。教授想请教您哦，因为是一个非常专业的语文学家，那对于这些孩子们呢，今天你希望看。看到他们有什么样的表现，或者是有什么样的重点呢？啊、呃，谢谢。基本上，呃，我们等于是有一个很简单的，呃，就是期待，嗯、呃，<笑>太期待了。不是因为，因为他们原来给我的题目好像不是这个。啊，就是建建议一样啦，其实只是我讲法不一样。哦，好的，好的，好的，<笑>是一样的，是一样的。样对不起，对不起。对不起、哦，好，对，就是给他们一些建议啦，给他们一些建议。对，好，呃，基本上，呃，语言的学习就是只有四个字，啊、呃，经常使用。那就像今天来呃参加外交小兵小尖兵的这些大家，他们是在用一个用英英语来分享他们对于这个文化的热爱。那这样子就是一个在有情境的情况下学习。那我今天当然也很期待看到他们很真诚地分享他在这个文化里头他们所热爱的美好的事情，能够怎么样去分享给国外的友人。谢谢。哦，所以就是平常就是要用，就是、哦、对，经常使用。OK， 谢谢王教授，谢谢，谢谢,谢,谢您。接下来呢，我们要欢迎到这位，大家等一下一定要好好的恭喜这位老师了，因为他才刚刚拿到我们的台湾的身份证，欢迎木马苏教授 ，Welcome， Congratulations， Yeah， Professor m u f a s u I uh you just got your Taiwan ID card, Yeah， Congratulations， and I learned about that you were born in Iran and uh, studied in Spain and United States, and now settled in Taiwan. That's right. Right? That's right. Wow. That's right. <laughs> so can you just give our students some suggestions on how to expand their perspective? <laughs> Certainly. Um, uh, first of all, I like to um, tell every young people and everybody I meet in Taiwan that uh, from living in different places, I have to say that this is a very good country. So you have gained a treasure from the people who work hard to make this a very good country. So you should really have, be appreciative of what you have. Of course, there is no such a best way or perfect place. Every, everywhere you go can be a good place, but from my experience. Secondly, my suggestion to the young people is that you should live your life and experience your life as, as purely, as, as fully as you can. 
dare yourself, just like you come here to this speech contest, right? And dare yourself to some ventures in life. Take a risk and find out about life. <laughs> OK, thank you, Professor Mumasu. Thank, thank you so much. <laughs> wow. 教授讲得很简单哈好我觉得刚刚教授们的这个谈话让大家放心不少所以接下来我们来看看因为呢其实很多很多来自各地很厉害的青年学子都来竞争这一次的外交小尖兵咯那这一次呢这十八对入选的队伍真的都是精英中的
Well, it all began three years ago when I was a college student. Hi. Hi. I'm your new flatmate, Cindy. I'm an exchange student from Australia. Oh. oh, this is for you. Thanks. My name's Bella. I'm a law major. One major come all this way to Taiwan to study. Well, both our units offer mobility grants for the students who study abroad. Oh. And an international experience is a must for a fulfilled uni life. Yeah. Most importantly, I want to improve my Mandarin here. Trust me, you made the best choice. So, you want to be a lawyer in the future? <sighs> I don't know. What about you? I plan to work in an overseas bank in Singapore. Really? Hey, you could do a working holiday in Australia, which offer more than 600 working holiday visas to Taiwanese last year alone. You should give it a try so that you'll know what you want. Sounds great, but what if I fail? You won't know if you don't try. Oh, before that, let's go grab a bite. One year later in Australia,
第五队，请携带证件到第一准备区。第二队，请上台。第二队表演题目是 Captain Taiwan is here to help. 计时开始 Five, four, three, two. Everyone, meet Spencer. Oops. Hey, Spencer. What you do this summer? I went to Thailand for a month. It was a lot of fun. Oh, really? How's your magic come back, dude? It's dangerous out there. How'd you know that? Rumor has it. Public opinions aren't always right. People have to be more open-minded. Do you really think still like that? Show me them. Okay. These goggles we've just received from our friends over in Southeast Asia. Try it out, would you? Whoa. Wow, this is refreshing. But what now? Hello? Hey there, welcome to our new virtual reality world. Who are you? I'm a developer of this virtual reality world. I've made a virtual copy of myself here. Allow me to show you around. <laughs> You're currently in Thailand. Sound a cap. Boss now? Even shops, shopping boss. Where's this? This is the Anfawa floating market near Bangkok. It is the most popular floating market in Thailand. Beware, you're only inches from getting soaking wet. Huh. Oh. Look, there's a palace over there. Whoa, that's so cool. Let me show you. <laughs> Next up, we have the Grand Palace. It used to be the king's court where the royal what the heck? What was that? Was it a crash or something? Honestly, I'm not sure. How about we ask the developers about it? How? Let's put the goggles back on. What's going on? It must be the connection again. We need more bandwidth. But how can we do that? Oh, I happen to know someone who can help. That's welcome. <laughs> Mr. Taiwan is at your service. Mr. Taiwan? Who's that? I have no idea. He's the one who always did collaborations with our Southeast Asian friends. With his help, we can start working on the problem together. But how? We can try 5G. 5G. <laughs> it's the new technology that offers incredible speed. But is it still unstable? There will always be a way. We are experienced in wireless technology, and we can collaborate. All right, <laughs> then. Let's see how it does. <laughs> Welcome back to the Royal Palace. This is the Temple of the Emerald Buddha, which is regarded as the most sacred temple in Thailand. No way! This looks as if it was in real life. The definition, this is unreal. 5G has limitless potentials. That worked wonderfully. Now that the product is complete, the world can come to a better understanding of your country and culture. <laughs> I've always thought of Southeast Asia countries so incorrectly. Your landscape and culture are way cooler than I thought. I'm sorry for thinking of you guys that way before. That's totally fine. It's one of the reasons we developed this world. I'm glad you liked it. The virtual reality world wouldn't have been complete without our collaboration. It'll also make us a name and boost both our economies. The new Southbound policy brings many new opportunities. Why don't we work on even more things together in the future? Surely we can, thanks to the new policy. Now we can combine the best of both worlds. Stronger, good on. on. Go further and beyond. <laughs>
，请第六队携带证件到第一准备区准备。第三队，请上台。第三队表演的题目是 Game on at the top of our game in Southeast Asia. 计时开始 Tofia, I say go back to Taiwan. The hell got you brought me here, Thailand. Tofia, are you listening? Oh, flight mode. <laughs> Flight mode off. Hi, boss. How was your flight? Terrible. You have a new message. Ugh, read it. Your mom asked you to go home and take care of Amma. Oh, Amma, her dementia. Come on, I just lost the game to Vama World Championship. How can I help her? Wesley. What? Wesley, oh, Tom. It's what right a coincidence! Here. Tom Allen, one of the world's top five esports gamers from Thailand. Of course, I know. Is this your new robot? Yeah, by the way, why are you here? I just came back from the eSport World Tournament. And guess what? I lost to a 73-year-old man. 73? Same as my grandma. Don't worry, Pom. My boss's new game also failed. Oh. Since you two losers have so much time now, why don't you visit the champion? Pom, you can consult him with the gamer skills. And boss, you can get some inspiration for your new game. Could you stop talking? Well, you know, I think she actually makes sense. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Tofia, contact the old man and take a stare. You have been now screw things up again. Yes, boss. Get on. Yes, yes. Come in, kids. Sawadee-ka. Hello, maestro. Please teach us how you can be so super, even at the age of 73. So super that you can even beat me. And you? Oh, and I'm here for some new ideas. Oh. <laughs> it's good that young people like you are well interesting so actively. Well, I have some tips that can be shop-minded. And the tip is... Is... The spices. Wow, you sure have a lot of spices at home. The spice combo can help me revitalize my brain cells. Revitalize the brain cells? You know, like star anise. Star, star anise, a famous spice with distinctive flavor and powerful bioactive compounds, which are vital contributors to good health. Right. And then, turmeric. Turmeric, turmeric the most effective nutritional supplement. Could you stop and let him talk? Step back. I'm sorry, boss. Thank you. Turmeric contains medicinal properties, and it is even said can help Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's? Dementia? Ah. And then, lemongrass. Lemongrass can help sleep and boost immunity. No wonder you look so energetic all the time. Thank you. And what's this? Oh, that is high end. I know that, Sophia. Drop the beat. Yes, Pop. <laughs> And that is just the second point. After I dance Thai dance every day, I felt my body coordination improved a lot. Oh, I got it! I can use the Thai dance and the spices to design a new game. And maybe it can even help Amma. Sophia, book the flight tickets back to Taiwan. Yes, the flight ticket booked. Good job. Now I finally understand why you could beat me. Thank you for sharing, and we will definitely keep these tips in mind. Thank you so much. I'm so inspired. All right, then. Good luck, kids. Bye. Bye. Seven months later. Ding-dang. Heart 
feet normal. Fanda. Huh? Blood pressure normal. Salencha. Mental condition normal. Ama, Ama. Huh? Palms here. Remember my Thai friend who helped me design the game last year? Yeah, you're a champion of eSports World Tournament. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is South East Spices for you. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Oh, hey, let's play my great sauce new game, Catch and Smell together. You know, my dementia is almost cured because of the death move and smell of the spices. Amma. The chance I might get lost have decreased by 85%. No mm -hmm. wonder your game now ranks number one in the world's VR game leaderboard. Well, the credit goes to Thailand. Stop talking, just play! Ready? Game on. Spices for Grand Pirates. Thailand inspires young gamers. And tax is good for all nations. Southbound South journey expands, expands our visions. Bonus time! Jing You have a new message. Tophia, reminder off! off. Thank you. 请第七队携带证件到第一准备区准备。第四队请上台 第四队表演的题目是, 一哈, 那路安, 计时开始 The Harvest Festival is coming I have lots of things to prepare Food, rice wine, hugs and... Oh! My son has to come back to practice our tribal dance I must call him right now Oh! It's mom again Hi, Mom. Cody, the Harvest Festival is coming. When will we be back? We have to practice the dance. But, Mom, at the airport. I'm going to New Zealand now, and I'll be busy all summer. I'm afraid I can't make it. But your cousins are coming, so... Oh, sorry, Mom. I can't hear you, Mom. Uh, hello, hello, Mom. I love you, Mom. Bye. Again? <sighs> It's so annoying. I can't stand it. What's the meaning of this stupid festival? It's already the 21st century. Traditional dance, it's out of fashion. Whatever, I got a plane to catch. Wow, what a beautiful country. I've heard that there's a place called the Glowworm Caves. I must go and see it, but where is it? Excuse me, excuse me. Do you know the famous Glowworm Caves? Oh, yes, it's just near my tribe. I can take you there. I'm Jacob and I'm Maori. What's your name and where you're from? Oh, I'm Cody. I'm from Taiwan and I'm an Aboriginal too. Wow, you're an Aboriginal from Taiwan? What a coincidence, we're both Aboriginals. I've heard that our ancestors were from Taiwan. Do you know Amis? Yeah, I'm Amis, so... Unbelievable! Our ancestors were Amis! We have the same origin! Uh, oh, yeah. Come on, come to my tribe. Let me introduce you to my father. Wait, what about the door? Okay. Hey, Dad! You must meet Cody! He's Amis from Taiwan. Oh, Amis from Taiwan? Welcome, my friend. Wait, wait. 
Don't worry, my dad is just doing a hongi. It's our traditional way to greet each other. Don't move, nose to nose, forehead to forehead. Hey mate, I must show our haka. Come on, that's the first. Ringa pakia. Wow, that was amazing! It's our traditional dance. New Zealand sports team often perform a haka before international matches. What about yours? The your tribal dance? Yeah, we do have our tribal dance, but I can't dance well. Ah, I have an idea. My mom can dance well. The Harvest Festival is coming. How about coming to Taiwan and joining us? Going, going to, to Taiwan? Taiwan? It's, it's a, a deal. deal. Unbelievable. We're going to Taiwan. Yeah, see you in Taiwan. Bye. See you. How come Jacob and his father are so proud of their culture? Maybe I should respect and appreciate my culture more. I had better get home as soon as possible and practice my tribal dance with my mom. One month later in Taiwan. Oh, this is Taiwan. It's so beautiful. No wonder it's called Formosa. Where's Cody's tribe? Jacob, over here, glad to see you again. Hi, Cody. Jacob, this is my mom. Hi, I'm Jacob. Nice to meet you. This is my dad. We're Maurice from New Zealand. Welcome to our tribe. Hey, son, this is where our ancestors were from. Wow, we're finally here. Hey, the festival's about to start. It's our show time. Let's, Let's dance, dance together. together. Sure, why not? Now, I am so proud of my culture. We should have a cultural exchange every year. One year in Taiwan and one year in New Zealand. It's, it's a deal. deal. Hee ha, Naluan. A new vision for the new generation. Thank you. Ting 第五队表演题目是 Change Palms into Palms 计时开始 it, 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 it hurts so much Granny, what happened? Are you her family? She was burnt in a forest fire <gasps> Who cares? My palm trees, Peter They are all burnt I'm ruined You're still worried about your palm trees? They almost killed you I raise you with the money from those trees. But Indonesia is burning. Your palm trees caused all this suffering. Oh, stop lecturing me. How's everything going? Okay, I'm done. Hey, they feel much better now. Thank you. It's nice of you volunteers to come all the way from Taiwan to help us. Hey, why don't you come to our home for a visit? Could we? Of course, just come. Thanks, but yay, Amanda. Let's go. Oh, all right. Welcome to our humble home. 
help yourselves to anything you like. Fine. Some were cozy. Wow. Those are nice patterns. That's my work. I made those. Really? Hey, Laura. We were fashion design majors in Taiwan. That's called batik, right? Batik? I don't remember that. Batik is our traditional clothes. The colors represent the three gods of Hinduism. Vishnu, Siva, and Brahma. Hey, do you want to try making one? Our pleasure! What's this? It's the dye for the clothing. It's made from a kind of fermented plant called polygonum. We ate polygonum leaves, lye powder, and some water into a jar, then mix them together. Then take a piece of white cloth and pour melted wax on it. Then use the chanting to draw a design. Chanting? Hallelujah! L Laura? What's wrong? She said that we should be chanting. This copper funnel is called a chanting. C-A-N-T. <laughs> um, what do you typically draw? Look at this one. This pattern is called Sido Asi. It represents the passing of love. Peter even wore one when he was a baby. So sweet. Or maybe this one? Hey, Peter. You are really a professional designer. Really? I'm flattered. Ah, I got an idea. Why don't you sell your batik clothes? We can use your batik method, but there's some more product of textiles. Taiwan has an advanced textile industry. We can attract eco-conscious customers by using recycled fibers made from plastic bottles. I, I, I don't think it would work. It's too risky. It seems to be riskier to farm your palm trees. They almost killed you when they burned. Yeah, but... Granny, why not give a hand to our rainforest and precious cultures? Hey, I got it! We can really change palms into palms. All right, perhaps it's really time to change. Great! materials with Indonesia's batik dyeing methods and Taiwan's seamless knitting skills. In fact, this process was recently used to produce all the team dresses for the FIFA World Cup. More than that, our brand has helped people to stop growing palm trees and to save the rainforest. Last, I would like to invite an important person to say something. My grandma. She originally farmed palm trees, but finally changed her ways. I, I, I would never imagine that this would work. I would like to thank Taiwan for its new southbound policy. The policy has proven to be an economic boon for both our countries. I would like to invite everyone to join us in spreading our core value. To, to change palms into palms. Let's work together and share in our view. First of all, innovation for the ecology of the world. A new solution to an old problem, a new vision for a new generation. Thank you. Please第九队携带证件到第一准备区准备。第六队请上台 
六队表演的题目是 Dory the Explorer， 计时开始。Hi everyone, I'm Dory, and this is my friend Ruth. Hi everyone, I'm Ruth. Kiki, can you guess where we are today? You're, You're right. right. We're in beautiful Cambodia, and it is also my home country. That's right. We're here to see the effects of Taiwan's new southbound policy, and we have been learning all about how this policy has been benefiting each country, like in Thailand, Indonesia, Vietnam, and now here. That's right. For example, since Taiwan had introduced the new southbound policy, or NSP, three years ago, many industries like manufacturing, tourism, and education has improved. We have learned that Cambodia is also producing more textiles because of Taiwanese businesses starting up here, which has helped improve the economy. And thanks to NSP. I got to study in Taiwan as an exchange student. That's how Ruth and I became best friends. So Dory, where should we go next? Hmm. Let me check the map. Oh. Oh no! It's Sweeper. Sweeper, no swiping. Oh no! He went through the top. Went. He must be hiding somewhere here. Let's go ask that vendor. Excuse me. Have you seen someone suspicious run by here with a backpack? With a backpack? Um, no, sorry. Wait a minute. You look familiar. <gasps> oh right. Aren't you the grumpy old troll? Grumpy? Me? <laughs> well, I guess I used to be, but not anymore. Really? What happened? I was the grumpy old troll when the economy was low. I can't even feed my family. But recently, the economy has improved. In fact, business has been great. If anything, I'm too busy making and selling these souvenirs. Do you want to buy one? Um, uh, maybe later. I need to find my backpack first. I sell backpack too, and these two dolls that kind of look like you guys. That's weird. Tourism really has improved in Cambodia. And also, I like those dolls. Can we get one? No, I need to find my backpack. It has all my things and even my passport. That's too bad. Maybe I can help. Was this suspicious person wearing a blue mask? Yes. How did you know that? Because he's hiding right over there. Uh oh. Ah, uh -huh, there you are. Hand over the backpack, Kiki. Look, guys, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But why did this? Aren't you that very smart high school student, like the one who got the highest score in the region? Um, I guess so. That really is an overstatement, though. I'm really not that good. Nonsense! You can qualify for the best colleges. That's right. No wonder you look familiar. I saw you on the news. So, which university are you attending now? Um, I'm actually not in any university now. What? what? Why not? I know this isn't a good excuse, but my family's too poor for me to receive higher education. I was hoping I could find some textbooks in your backpack. But sweeper, that's not right. Swiping is not the way. You're right. I shouldn't have done that. I was a little desperate. Still, I really want to study more. Hmm. I understand, but it shouldn't be swiping. Hmm. Is there anything we can do to help? Hey, sweeper. Do you know that you can earn a full coverage scholarship to study in Taiwan? I applied for an exchange program and got a scholarship last year. Really? That's great. And if you promise to give up swiping, I can use someone smart like you to help with my business. Oh yes, I promise. And I would love to if you would take me. That's great. You know, guys. It's clear that there are improvements here in Cambodia from better connections between our countries and an improved economy and more opportunities to study abroad. 
So, do you know what has helped with all of this?请第十队携带证件到第一准备区准备。第七队，请上台。第七队表演的题目是 Killer Mosquitoes 计时开始 This is so frustrating! Why do we need to clear this mess after every pouring rain? Every time I have to drain the water, clean up the trash, Stop whining! Get me more leaves! Why do you always need the leaves? These smooth and bright gleaming leaves can only be found here in Cambodia! and can be made into leaf extract to relieve ancient swelling from the mosquito bites. All right, fine. Ah! W uh, what's wrong again? A mosquito just bit my arm again. Oh. You, you've been bitten so many times the past uh. few days. You gotta be careful. Who knows that you're gonna be infected by some sort of disease? Disease? There's no way that could happen. I've lived here for 14 years, and I'm basically immune to everything here. The uh, I feel a bit dizzy. Are you all right? I'm fine. It's just... Uh, 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 feels like my head is about to explode. You need uh, help. What uh, do I do? So, I heard this biomedicine expert, Charlotte Leon, and New South Wales policy. New, New South what? Her plane landed here this morning. Find out. Uh, hey! to enhance cooperation between countries like Taiwan, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Cambodia, etc. It aims to create a new form of economic development Gary, by Gary, I think she gets it. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, does your friend uh, experience muscle pain? Yes. Uh, severe headache? Yes. Um, afraid of light? Yes. Uh, tired? Sophia, take us to hand. Okay. Here he is, my friend Shikara. Hmm. Fever. Rashes, no spleen. I think he has dengue fever. D dengue? That, that's amazing! Excuse me? Oh, uh, sorry, let me rephrase. Uh, what I meant to say was, Taiwan has been affected by dengue for many, many decades, and we're quite experienced in dealing measures similar to Chikara, so maybe we could be of assistance. Indeed. Gary, give him an injection of Demblasia and have him drink some water. Right, Doc. Oh, why are there so many mosquitoes, and Gary, why haven't you been bitten by any mosquitoes for all this time? Oh, I discovered this uh, mysterious bottle of green extract, and it has turned out to be quite effective when dealing with my mosquito bites. That's the leaf extract there are people used to relieve ancient swelling from the mosquito bites. Hmm, interesting. Gary, go get instruments. Right away. Ugh. Um, uh, Gary, watch out! Whoa. 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 Hey. Whoa. Look! There's a mosquito flying toward the bush and... Oh! Oh! It's, it's dead! Hmm... I believe that the leaf gel and the solution have blended together, creating a new substance that killed the mosquitoes. 
Extraordinary! biomedical project for a while, and we successfully developed an effective treatment. By combining Cambodian leaf extract and Taiwan's medical solutions, we successfully created a unique mixture that can not only kill mosquitoes, but can be also used as a vaccine to cure dengue. And it is totally harmless to the human body. With the provision of biotechnical skills from Taiwan, and the assistance of labor from Cambodia, we were able to develop a production line. Mosquito infection rate has dropped, while job opportunity had increased significantly. Thanks to the hard work of both nations, it is a win-win situation. The, the new Southbound policy is truly successful. Thank you.第八队表演的题目是 The Ultimate Late Show with Row 1 Row C Journey to the South 计时开始 Welcome to the Late 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 Show I'm your host, Rowan Ramsey A few years ago, people made fortunes from Taiwan's new softbound policy which focuses on building business connections with Asian Pacific countries mostly in the South and conducting tele exchanges and now, here's one of the most successful businessmen who took advantage of this policy. Mr. Jackson Hua, the founder of Dongfang Hong Kong City. Thanks, Rowan. It's a pleasure to be on the show, man. So now, Jackson, tell us how you came from the bottom all the way to the top. Oh, of course. It all started when I was an exchange student at the IC University in India. And thanks to the new southbound policy that was in Taiwan at the time, I met Professor Lamar Davis. Such a weird guy. But he sounds so intelligent. Little do you know, Jensen, we actually invited your fine professor, fine professor. to the studio tonight. No Ladies way. and gentlemen, please welcome Professor Lama the III. Hey, surprise, oh. you fool. I still remember the failing grades I gave you in my class, Mr. Hua. I heard what you said about me. Fortunately, you took my advice, which led you to massive success. Oh, come on, man. Do you really have to brag about it? <laughs> Of course, you're not grateful, fool. Oh, look at this guy. Well, that was fun. But I have heard you still own that professor 50 rupees. That's how I stay a billionaire, you know. But serious though, we set up your company in Malaysia instead of the United States or European countries. Oh, hold up. I know it. As I told him, Southeast Asia economy is growing rapidly every year. So does Malaysia. The second reason is rubber. Everyone needs rubber in their life. Doctor, teachers, Batman or even Mr. Hua, who is now living in his parents' house. Oh, you know that's not true, Lamar. But, you know, anyways, I started making rubber gloves in a small shed. Oh, I get it. So you're basically Steve Jobs, but more with rubber. Oh, 
Just let that guy with white tires around his whole body. Yeah, yeah, you get the idea. And anyways, after a few years, uh, start to look for more business opportunities. Acquire companies with potential. For example, Suma Parts and Performance was once a small brand in Indonesia. But now, it's one of the most successful aftermarket brands in the world. Oh my days! Is it? My car is using Suma Parts tires right now. Hey, oh. that's wicked, bum. Thanks for the support, Rowan. And remember, viewers, you can get a 20% discount using the code SPP right now. So get down here and get your cars pimped out right now. I see it right now! I see okay. it right now! Okay, come down, Justin. So now, tell us, what are you planning to do next? Well, try to get my hands on more business of course. I will continue to expand my empire with my so-called partner. He's just like me, but a little less wealthy. Please look up. Mr. Shepin Shamir and his alter ego Batman. Hey, come on! I'm just as wealthy as you, you so called business partner. Now, back to business, Robin. Robin! Look at this guy. Okay, then, what does this expansion have to do with the policy? You see, my company was contacted by the government of Malaysia to set oil rigs to drill for oil. Thus, Neptune Incorporated, that's Neptune Incorporated, holds a very important position in the oil market. Now, Johnston here, good old Johnston, so that we could prosper through collaboration. He is able to take half the oil I drill for a very reasonable price. It's basically a win-win scenario. Okay, then how do the countries and people in Malaysia and Taiwan profit? Can you elaborate? Of course. You see, Taiwan is not exactly swimming in oil at the moment, right? But because of the vast amount of resources my company drills for and the amount Johnston here takes off my hands, there's plenty of oil to go around for everybody. They won't have to worry about their oil reserves any longer. As for my country, the money received from Johnston here is generous and will be put to good use. We plan to erect public schools and facilities. I don't want you back here! Oh, you know it's out of budget, but you know, I always thought that Mr. Blaine Shamil here... A Batman! ...as a very generous man. A Batman! ...that share his limited amount of wealth with his country. So Batman. <laughs> Come on, man. Thank you for the confidence, Justin. And, and thank you for bringing me on the show. And thank you, Rowan, for having me here. Ladies and gentlemen, please give up for Mr. Jackson Hoa, Shepley Shamel, and Lamar Davis. Remember, viewers, if you also take advantage of this policy, you may also become rich just like them. Oh, which includes me. Sit down, which includes down, man. Tune in next week for the new wheelchair person in Taiwan, Vivian Chen, who is the CEO of Ji Yuan Liao Company which is currently cover rapid rating with Rockledge Industry from New Zealand. She will share how the new southbound policy influences both Taiwan's and New Zealand's GDP. This is Rowan Ramsey. In case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Dijo对,请上台 Voyage of Hope,继续开始 Oh, no, no, no! Wait, wait, Professor? I've been working on this project for five months now, and yet nothing's completed. Your dad has also been working on the rebuild after an earthquake for a long time, it's so okay. I still can't achieve anything. You know what? I give up! Wait, wait, what about the Philippines? My, my project! Am I? Wait, yeah. Professor, wait! Mom. Oh, hi, Marcus. The project we've done for the Philippines, it's all gone. It's over. What's wrong? You know what? The professor just gave up on it. Now we'll never have a chance to recover the damages. 
Damages? Oh, you must mean the damages caused by the earthquake in the Philippines months ago, right? Yeah, the Philippines is your hometown, so it is also mine. I really want to do something for it, but, it, but I just okay, can't. Hey, hey, that's Mom. okay, Marcus. You have been trying so hard. Your father has also been working on it. I believe with efforts made by father and son, we could surely bring back our lovely hometown, okay? Um, speaking of hometown. Hometown? Not, not again. Oh, come on. It was just like yesterday. Your father came to the Philippines as an investor because of the new southbound policy. Oh, he was the most handsome of all his fellows. I fell for him immediately at first sight. Oh, do you remember this? This was my... Yeah, that was your love token. Oh, again? Yes, it's a no. bracelet made out of palm trees. It's very common in my hometown. At that time, your father and I always dances under some palm trees. Enjoy the sunset. <sighs> palm trees were part of our lives. But now, it's all gone! <laughs> wait, 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 Mom. Maybe you can find another way, Mom. Marcus, okay. there's a huge breakthrough for our project. Uh, I only need one more material to finish it. It needs to be tough and light and... What's with all this wimping? Oh, I'm just missing the scorching sun, humid air, and the emerald palm trees back in the Philippines. Oh, my gorgeous palm trees. Uh, Mark, wait, this wait, is it. But with this, we can but, finally succeed. Let's go find your dad now. Follow me. But Professor Wade, Professor, Professor. Oh, hi, son. It's been a long time since I last saw you. How's it been these days? Uh, as normal as always, but uh, Professor and I have been working on a project. A brilliant project! Uh, Hank, you're here too, so what are you guys up to? We developed a new technique that might have us chance to solve the bad situation of the Philippines, though we still have something to tackle. Oh, that, that sounds nice. So what's that problem then? We still need a well-organized process to bring it to uh, reality. And some fundings. Uh, oh, I see. So, let me think about it. Um, it sounds like you might want to apply for the credit guarantee found provided by the new South Bond policy. If this project succeeds, we might be able to introduce it to other countries and some business opportunities might follow. You know what? Just leave it to me. I'll take well, care of it. You got it? Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Thanks, Dad. Ah, oh, look at these. What a masterpiece. Wow. Everything is just perfect. Too bad my family can't see this. After this, I'll be alone again. What are you talking about, my friend? We are a family. Even, even if they're gone in the earthquake, it's never too late to start over again. Yeah, and there are still many experiments waiting for us to accomplish. Yeah, time machine! Let's Find end. cars! <laughs> Thank you, son. I am so proud of you. As my hometown's recovered, they can make me more bracelets. <laughs> huh? Wait! Three, two, one. Thank, Thank you, you for your attention. Hey,同学，帅气的在表演的时候，这边不要有动作好吗？等一下后面的几组啊，请把把这一张做一次国家音乐剧。因为任何的声音会影响到表演，那我们工作人员请放注意一下。一开始表演的时候，这边就不要有动作，因为我们是停机可以等。好，谢谢。
第十对表演的题目是 Dreaming of a New Direction， 计时开始。Good day. There's a lot of outfit you're wearing today, Miss Ruby. Why, thank you, my dear. Aren't you just adorable? Wake up, Anna. Yes. Well, class, today we'll be discussing our government's new southbound policy. New, Miss Ruby. We've been going over this for years. Three to be precise. People, people, calm now. You are not your schoolmates of yesteryears. Sharon, do you want to follow in your sister's footsteps and add another doctor to the family? Well, I'm thinking about. Think you're some kind of leader destined to become president? Possible. No, it's not. And you, Anna, are you going to waste your time and end up like Sleepy Sam Snyder if you wash cars for a living? Don't answer that. This. It's a new year. You need to find your own vision. You are the new generation. Who's she talking? To? All right then, let's get started, shall we? So, what would be the best way to travel to and learn about our target countries? Dr. Zhang, what oh, is the best? Oh, Charlie, by plane. Anna, Anna. <laughs> Amazing dream. 
I know where opportunity awaits me. Oh, what pray tell awaits you? It's the South China Sea, Mrs. B. That's always me. South Bang Ho! Thank, Thank you. you. Reaching the Philippines, Garbage Refreshing, 即时开始. This is my first visit to the Philippines. It will be awesome. Oh, oh my! my! Why is there so much garbage? It stinks. Wait. Ugh, you stink. What's the problem? I live here. What? You live here with all these garbage? Well, it wasn't always like this before. It used to be a beautiful bay when I was little. However, recently, other countries have treated our home like it's their trash can. They deliver their garbage here, so this is what you see. Hey, you know what? I'm a reporter and our little Rosalind just is here and exposed her to disrespectful behavior. Really? Thanks so much. I got and told my mommy this great news. This is Jessica reporting from the Philippines. Behind me, you can see the heaps of garbage. It looks like a dump, right? It didn't always look like this. It is a home to groups of locals that are fighting back. The trash is sent here from other nations and dumped it on this unlike people's doorstep. Today, I'm appealing to everyone in the audience. Help them, please, with any methods and in any possible ways. Jessica Huang, Taiwan Live. Garbage? No? Wait! Our research and development department has already come up with a solution. Not to mention the cost of labors and the size of our markets in the Philippines. This could be a great opportunity. Hey, Melissa, arrange a meeting for me with Taiwan's ambassador and get a presentation ready, quick. Welcome to the Philippines. Are you the boss of the enterprise? Yes, I am. Please call me Adam. Nice to meet you. I was so glad to see your project. It's almost unbelievable. You're reviving the refuse. I think we have the most appropriate policy and the best condition for you to develop this market here. Oh, she's here. And this is the CEO of PB Corp. She is interested in your technique and is hoping to collaborate with you. Hi, I'm Adeline. I have heard of your plan and I can't wait to work with you. Thank you. It will be my pleasure. Okay, let's get started now. Here is the policy, the new cell phone policy. It aims to strengthen the interactions between Taiwan and other Southeast Asian countries. Then, establish mutual beneficial association. I think we can combine the techniques and investments from Taiwan with my company's labor resources to increase job opportunities here and make a profit at the same time. That's also what I want. But changing plastic bottles into new clothes requires some machine control skills that the local laborers need to learn before we can go into production. Don't worry, the government encourages the cultivation of skills and talents. So they offer allowance for things like this. Great! I was thinking about sending some of my personnel to Taiwan for training. Maybe I can send them to your company. Sure, this is better than I could have hoped for. 
I don't even need to pay for the training. Well, I hope you both can have a long and prosperous partnership. Me too. So do I. We've had a great changes thanks to a cooperation between Taiwan and the Filipinos company. This place is not the landfill anymore. They upside call the trash to make clothes. In addition, we have heard that their cooperation is based on the new Southbound policy. Now, if other companies would do this, we'll see more even economic and environmental benefits in the future. Jessica Hong, Taiwan Life. I want to thank you both. Without you and a new Southbound policy, we wouldn't be able to work together and create such a great win-win situation. I couldn't agree with you more. Not only did we make most of our opportunity, but we also improved the local environment. And, just like the reporter said, we are influencing other companies. The economy will be able to follow in our footsteps. So glad to see such a successful partnership. It has been my pleasure to help you guys. I believe that your products will sell like hot cakes. I know the best of it is to get to know you all. That's, That's right. right. Richard Fairbanks, Thank you. Thank you. Please, the fifth team to the first team to prepare. Dish Nangua, a meditation on pest control. Let me out! I I just got my wings. Whoa! Stop! <laughs> this little bar should not be a threat to our ecology. A threat? Global warming, deforestation, pollution? Think about what you humans have done! It's a done say. Oh no! I'm finished with my brand new wings! Hold on! Some of the worms may become resistant to the chemicals. But I added a new ingredient this time. It will definitely kill them all. Kill them all? That means the good bugs like ladybugs, bees, and mantises will also suffer. You still alive? The full army worms have eaten up to 40% of crops in Southeast Asia. And now they are raging in Taiwan. Hey, everyone needs food to survive. Eating our food. You're eating our food too. Look. I caught a male in the cornfield this morning. Wait! You want to put them together? Seriously? It's a new solution. A new solution? You'll see. Who, who are you? Oh, I'm Ron. I just flew here this morning. From Vietnam to freaking China and then Taiwan. You must be exhausted. Don't you know we four army worms are good at long distance flying? No. I don't even know how to fly. Don't worry. I'll teach you. So, this is what you use to eat? Yeah, sometimes. Baby corn too. You know, I used to have more choices. Corn, rice, peanuts, soybeans, and even sunflowers. Our enormous appetite is the reason why humans hate us. True. My family and friends in Vietnam were almost wiped out by pesticides. I still remember what it's like in nature. You see the world through the window? There is a dazzling sunshine. Dazzling sunshine? You can see the open blue, blue sky, sky, lush green mountains, Mountain. and crystal clear rivers. Crystal rivers! But it seems to me that humans don't like nature as much as we do. Yeah. 
I can be really selfish sometimes. I can foresee how I'll spend my whole life in this box, never have a chance to fly. The Nha Lam Bois. The, the Nha Lam Bois? Vietnamese, which means don't worry. My parents told me that our ancestors were from South America, a place of liberty, happiness, and passion. So optimism is deeply rooted in our DNA. Yeah, you have seen a lot in the world, and you have a great personality. Though we just met, I'm so attracted to you. You are a great moth too. Don't underestimate yourself. So, I'm wondering if there's any possibility that I can be your girlfriend? In fact, this kind of moth can pollinate plants by night, just like bees do by day. Wiping them out is not the best solution at all. Well, I think... Oh, and scientists at the Academia Zeneca have successfully developed vaccines against cervical cancer with its wound cells. Yeah, they are not necessarily called pests. Thanks to this program, our countries can have the opportunity to work together and solve problems in an eco-friendly way. See? Now they've got their eggs! Yeah! But why are well, only half, half of them hatched? It's not my problem, is it? This is it! Promote sense sweet meat? The leaves I ate when I was a caterpillar? It contains collagen, which prevents germ cells from completely splitting. That's why only half of the eggs are hatched. Humans are so wicked! Calm down, honey. Let's listen. So... We can grow from most sense we leave near the farm to attract the whims to eat them. That's right. That way, they can survive and our crops can thrive. It's win-win. It'll be good for every country in Southeast Asia. Yeah. We're all connected in the circle of life. This is a better way to protect nature and our future generations. Living in peace with Mother Earth is definitely the sustainable solution. <gasps> How come the lid isn't closed? The bugs are gone? No way! Wow! I'm flying! I'm really flying! Watch out! Let's fly through the window! Let them go! They belong to nature! But... Then I'll let go! Thank you!第十三队，请上台。第十三队表演题目是。Moving with the ties of Taiwan. Ji Shi Kashi. And 
good silhouette. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Adeline, slow down. Taroko Gorge is Taiwan's most impressive natural feature. Truly amazing. But let's keep going. Here's Tainan City. It's well known for its snacks and temples. The I temple know. ornamentation is amazing. I've been in Taiwan for a year, and I'm still seeing new things. This ancient town is Hey, let's go down this alleyway. Adeline, wait up. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, hey, two, three, four, cool. five, six, seven, I'm eight. I'm getting inspired. Here you are. Hey. Ooh, Jane, I haven't seen you in ages. What's going down? I'm touring around with my friend. She's an exchange student, a dancer, and a musician from Australia. Nice to meet you. Come on, we need to practice for Tackle Malaysia Cultural Expo next week. Okay. Hey, your moves are very cool. Our Ba Jia Jiang routine. It's a form of martial arts with ancient You're ritual. a bad jajo, huh? They're immature losers. Beat on that chewing high school dropouts. What? Don't be so condescending. I'm recommending you see that we're here attending Bai Long An, the origin of Ba Jia Jiang, traditional culture for us Taiwanese. So give us some more respect, if you please. Superstitious peasant, this is an old disease. Get with the present, not an old dog with fleas. Yeah, hip hop, Jay. I didn't know you can rap. All of us need to collaborate. This is great. Can you guys tell me more? I'll show you some peasants, hip hop. Ba Jia Jiang, divine gender rules adhere to strict principles. We are the pinnacles of perfection, providing evil protection. Actually, I'm a girl, so I can be a real Jia Jiang. Really? That's too bad. We can slip through realms and metaphysics. We capture and torture evil spirits. We're celestial messengers, higher temple god protectors. Wow, I didn't know that. When their face is painted, they open up their souls as transcendent spirits merge to occupy their being. Then they must not talk. Is it true that you're forbidden to eat meat, smoke, drink, and remain abstinent from the pleasures of the flesh? Yes. I love the stoicism! Each general has a different theme. And I'm the autumn general. And this is the phoenix. And, and I'm the winter tiger. My job is to threaten evil spirits. And autumn's job it is, is to cover them. them. I'm really starting to like this now. Come on, Jane. Come in. In Asia Pacific Sea Time specifically. specifically. Nice. Writing hip hop lines for an NSP Ba Jia Jiang number is so thrilling. It's a great idea. Yeah. New and stark. East meets west. That's my idea. Totally. A great way to meet the future. Ba Jia Jiang supporter, NSP transporter, reaching out over the border. So I see your face. Supernatural order. Adoring the NSP that be jamming and slamming like the Pipe Piper playing at the gates of Hamlin. Well, I don't think so. The Pipe Piper is evil. Let's be more serious. I have a feeling that we could be on something big here. There are many festivals outside of Taiwan that incorporate Ba Jia Jiang and Taiwanese temple culture. And Ba Jia Jiang could be Taiwan's alluring new symbol to attract greater interest. That's the spirit. Our ship will come in. I just know it will come in with the tide. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Come on, team, let's move with the tide. I used to think that Ba Jia Jiang was pointless. But I've changed. Taiwan is changing. Like a phoenix, we, we can, can rise, rise together. together. Coming. In Asia Pacific Sea Town, specifically, Bada and the NSP. Hunting our wrist study. Skills and great heart burning inside. New for two and new face. Move with the Taiwan tide. Thank you.第十四队期待证件到第一准备区准备。第十四队，请上台。
第十四队表演的题目是 Trash to Cash， 计时开始。I can't wait for the people that are coming today on their working holidays. Hello. Hi. Oh, you are. I'm Sunny from Taiwan, and these are my friends from the southbound countries. We're here for the working holidays. This is Ivet. Jade from Vietnam. Welcome to Taiwan. Aiden, Thailand. Nice to meet you. Don't feel shy, kids. Make yourselves at home. Excuse me, Ivet. What are you going to do with these leftover crops right here? Oh, you mean these? Yeah. Well, consumers don't buy them because they think they're too ugly. My friends in Brunei and Indonesia also suffer from the same problem. We spend so much time every year on these crops, but they just end up getting wasted on the field. Well, there's gotta be a solution. Can't these food waste be used somewhere else? Well, don't worry, Aiden. I will try to find a solution eventually. Now, can you guys help me? The tools are over there. Okay. Sure. I feel so bad for the farmer because of all her wasted hard work and lost profits. Wait, why don't we just feed all the crops to the pigs? Well, Taiwan already does that, but the food still has to be processed and chosen. Food waste can't be sold or eaten. Um, Aiden. Is there something you're trying to say? Oh, it's biogas. Bio we can put them to use as biogas. Wait, is that some kind of natural resource? Oh, incorrect. Far from it. I'll do some research. Biogas is a renewable energy source made by processing organic waste.、Wow. That sounds really interesting, Aiden. But how does that relate to my situation? Well, it's totally related. Biogas is already well developed in my country, Vietnam. Look. The Vietnam Biogas Program has already developed 150,000 devices over the last decade to change animal manure into compost.、Um, Aiden, didn't you tell us your uncle works at the Climate, Climate Neutral Group, Group in Thailand? Correct. They're developing biogas plants that capture methane from wastewater.、Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm not keeping up here. Look, your imperfect crops from your farm can also turn into fuel and compost. Yep. At the same time, we're helping to reduce the fruit waste. According to APAC, fruits and vegetables post-harvest losses can be as high as 55 percent globally. Wow. wow! Oh, is that the reason why they're building a new biogas plant in Taiwan this year? They are. But that thing is huge. Can I build one here? Yes, we can. We can build a small-scale version of this plant. Surely the results wouldn't be different if we have the same bacteria, right? Let's try it out. Sure. Try it out. Okay. Aha!、Uh -huh. As you can see, the stove is powered by methane gas produced by the bacteria as I digest the food waste. Plus, the compost will end up here. This, this is incredible. Yes. yes. I want to share this technology with my friends in southbound countries. But I don't think technology is the issue. The problem is people aren't aware of it. What can we do about this? How about building a web page?、Oh. That's a great idea. We can build a website to educate people on how to utilize food waste. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. I'm so proud of us. Me too. Come, Vet. Come take a look at the biogas web page we made. Oh, you guys finished it. It has our story, and it also introduces biogas technology to different target audiences, especially to southbound countries. Oh, and for us farmers, our unsold crops can be turned into electricity and compost, thanks to the southbound policy that brought you young people together to create a better solution for a better future. Let's keep in touch and continue this project together. Hooray! We believe in change. Our goals are the same. As 
diverse nations, we create new visions. Thank you. Shi 15队表演的题目是The Sand from the South 计时开始 We have been around the world Yes Still, that unique blend eludes us You're right I have reported on coffee for years And I have seen it all But none of the coffee beans have impressed me Kenyan coffee, too whiny and tangy Ethiopian, too delicate and nippy Indonesian, too earthy and caustic. Costa Rican, Colombian, Argentinian, <sighs> nothing. In order for us to attract our customers to our cafes, we need that blend. Sure, buddy. That's why rank Vietnam, the second largest producer of coffee worldwide. That sounds amazing. I really had no idea. In any case, I hope we get lucky. Let's go and have a whip around. Nice pun. What's that aroma, Natalia? Aroma? I smell blueberry, right? It's cranberry. <laughs> a berry, definitely not blue. Your sense of taste has put our company in peril. So I got this one. Hi. Hi. Good day. Welcome to Z Coffee. We have drink coffee, espresso, hot latte, ice latte, cappuccino. Jimmy, you got to taste this. There's a hint of blueberry and a pinch of cardamom. It's rich, smooth, and smoky. You're an expert coffee connoisseur. The blend, the blend, it's... The blend? Out of this blend. world? Yes. Fireworks on your tongue? Yes, yes, it gives me the tingles. Really? The secret isn't just the coffee bean. The secret is in the brewing technique. The water must be at exactly 98 degrees Celsius. The coffee bean must be ground extremely fine. Then, at the optimum water temperature, the water is pouring to the coffee. Stir, not shaken. And voila! Coffee is served. It is just awesomeness in the cup. Then, we have coffee with a twist. The twist is the iced version. Ice and our secret Condensed milk recipe. Oh my lord! I'm in heaven, Jimmy! Have you? Have you ever thought of exporting this? Jimmy! No pressure, no pressure. We are just very excited of this blend. Was that a little too direct? But I see great potential. Yes. Yes, we're very flattered, but I'm not sure we have the quantity. We are just a small farm. That's fine. Perhaps if we collaborate, we may be able to help each other. What do you have in mind? Jimmy is an expert in coffee farming. And Taiwan agricultural development is one of the best in the world. I see where you're going with that. We supply exclusively to you in Taiwan in exchange for technological agricultural support, right? Mm, I want to go further. I intend to invest in all our South Bank policy partner countries and I want you, you to be a part of this great adventure. Really? Really? We will be honored! The honor will be mine. Imagine. Indonesia, Singapore, Thailand, Philippines, Malaysia, Myanmar, Cambodia, Laos, even as far as New Zealand and Australia. Let's announce this to the world! Ladies and 
and gentlemen, fellow coffee connoisseurs, lend me your ears. We have an announcement to make. Yes, we're proud to announce a promising partnership between our Taiwan partners, my friends, and us. Why Taiwan? It's simple. We are the number one coffee consumer per capita, and it's only growing. I think we are a match made in heaven. You have the beans, we have the means. Taiwan Southbound Policy has made Taiwan an attractive destination to do business in. Your people are famous for your goods and services. As Wendy said, the government has opened to us. We're so excited! To Taiwan! To Vietnam! To, to coffee! coffee. Thank, Thank you! you. Shilio A New Vision for New South Belt Renewable Energy. Hey Savannah, how's life in Cambodia? I'm currently working for a Taiwanese company. Oh, it's another blackout. Another? Large parts of Cambodia have had to endure hours of daily power outages. The fins don't work and neither do the lights. Electricity shortage has crippled small businesses, including Taiwanese ones. My dad is just an expert in renewable energy. Maybe he can help. You should ask him. Sure. Hey, Daddy. Do you know about the power situation in Cambodia? The power supply there doesn't seem to be very stable. So Taiwanese companies have also been affected. Yes. The use of renewable energy in Cambodia is quite urgent. Maybe we can act to cooperate with them. Let's go. Here we are! Hey, Katniss, you finally come to Cambodia! Savannah, this is my father. This is his TA. Hi, I'm Dr. Zhao. Nice to meet you. I have heard Cambodia is a most cultural and passionate country. I'm really happy to be here. I'm Max. Nice to meet you. I'm also very happy to meet you. Savannah, where's your family in Cambodia? My family is in Genra province, in dry seasons. The largest hydropower plant is unable to send enough power. The Cambodia Power Company announced the rolling blackout plan. The power is cut off for six hours every day, either in the afternoon or the evening. We have to use batteries or a generator if we want to have any electricity. And that is so expensive. Taiwan currently has promoted aqua solar farms, which can generate renewable energy and makes little pollution. In addition, you can raise fish and ducks under solar panels. That will not only help stabilize the country's energy, but also help people make a living, right? Yes. Moreover, the Asian Development Bank has assessed that Cambodia is very suitable for the development of solar energy. For example, it has the largest freshwater lake in Southeast Asia, Tongli Sub Lake. Solar panels can be placed on the lake to generate more electricity. Savannah, you can come to Taiwan to learn about electricity-related knowledge. Then you can come back and promote it for more people. That's awesome. Let's go. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's field trip. Listen, Master, there are two Cambodian students studying with us. Hello, my name is Savannah. Hi, my name is Naron. Then let's start the course. Today, we are in Limbian Township. Pingdong County. You guys can see a lot of examples of aqua solar farms along the roadside. Those things floating on the water are solar panels. As long as they are placed in the sunlight, they can fulfill their role, and the luminous energy is directly converted into electricity. See, you can even use solar panels to charge a mobile phone. Our hometown is a place with plenty of sunshine, but 
Electricity is still not enough. If we can introduce this technology to Cambodia, we'll be able to solve these problems greatly. It will also echo the sentiment of the new southbound policy. New southbound policy? New southbound policy is to seek cooperation opportunities with new southbound countries through economic cooperation, talent exchange, and resource sharing to enhance the quality of life of partner countries and expand Chinese economic development. This, this is, is a win-win situation. situation. Yes, both of you can study in Taiwan. It's also the achievement of New South Wales policy. When you finish your studies, you can go back and benefit your hometown. That's great. After so many years, we have learned the technology of solar power generation in Taiwan. Most importantly, we also work in a Taiwanese solar power plant. Nowadays, the level of power supply in our country has been improved, and stable power supply can raise our quality of life. Taiwan's business can thrive in Cambodia too. Thanks to the new South Belt policy, we can now devote ourselves to diplomacy and environmental protection between our two countries. New vision for New South Bond policy. We can see it. Thank you. Thank you. You rise me up. Wait! Don't run! Oh, 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 I got you! I'm wondering if this duck can remove pests in our field. That's it, what it can do. Wow, wow it really it can, can eat pests! But wait, see, it is also eating a patty! Good morning, Mr. Lee. Just call me Ray. Welcome to Taiwan. Please have a seat. Thank you. We learned that Taiwan government intended to promote rice duck farming technique in Asia. We're looking for possibility of cooperation. Sure. In response to the new southbound policy, we are more than happy to offer technological consultancy about rice duck farming skills. Thanks for your kindness. Concerning this partnership, we can provide part of our farmland in return. Wonderful! I guess we can expect a win-win situation in that case. Miss, how's everything? Oh. oh, welcome to our field, sir. See, all farmers are laborious, while our harvest is poor. Don't worry, I invite two farming experts, Michael, the young agricultural ambassador, and Lisa, to introduce our unique rice duck farming technique. Hello, I'm Michael, and beside me is Lisa. Wow, what a lovely little expert! Lisa is a new breed of duck specialized in rice duck farming. She works mixed from three different breeds of ducks, Beijing duck, Mallard, and Muscovy. We use the duck to replace pesticide. Unlike pesticide that can destroy the ecosystem in a field, these ducks only consume pests, 
which meant Tyler Bell diversity. Brilliant! That also means the rice we grow can be natural, healthy, and without pesticides. Such good little helpers! Wow, within a few months, your rice field has become so plentiful. We really appreciate your help. Owing to rice that farming, we are no longer bothered by the past. This is exactly the goal of New South Bond policy. With the farming skills and rich soil resources here, we can make the best rice in the world. If we keep cooperating with each other, our agricultural industry will sustain longer. Tired, hungry, and cook some Chinese cuisine. Back in the days, farmers didn't have enough money to pay workers. So they prepared rice ripping meal to thank them. This way, we build a relationship of mutual assistance instead of money. This rice is amazing! It's perfectly fluffy and full of aroma. I wish our rice could taste as fine one day. Actually, this rice is growing in your field. Is it? This rice tastes so great. You know what? Maybe we could report this accomplishment in a UN conference. Absolutely. The rice stock farming technique deserves to be seen all over the world. To our successful cooperation. Cheers. Next, let's welcome the delegates of Indonesia. <clears throat> this year, we have received a significant result by cooperating with our friends from Taiwan. We provided part of our farmland and they told us incredible rice stack farming technique. This technique meets the goal of SDGs, life on land. We believe that this successful experience means a huge step closer to our ultimate goal, zero hunger. That's, That's so great. great. I'll call my ice No, I'll call her. Let me do it. Hey, let me do it. <laughs> She's calling. <laughs> Hi, my ice Hi, Michael. Hi, Ray. We made it. Let rice duck farming and plan to promote it worldwide. This is the achievement between Taiwan and Indonesia. Taiwan can open its door to international youth from all over the world. Thanks to the new South Bond policy, we, we have, have a new vision for the new generation. South Bond policy, we work with each other. Indonesia and Taiwanese farmers, organic rice duck farming, eco-friendly. Hey, thank you.第十八队，请上台。第十八队题目是 “Do it for ourselves”， 计时开始。Guess what I got? I give up. What have you got? Ta-da! Fashion rat. I, I found this on sale! What, what, what did you do that for? I'm not wearing the same shirt as them. So, you're throwing away these new clothes? Yes. Why not? They're cheap. It's not cheap at all. Consider this, the clothing and textile industry. It's the second largest polluter in the world. Uh, I have an idea. Let's have a pop quiz. How much global wastewater does the fashion industry produce? 5%. 10%. Wrong. 20%. How many liters of water does it take to produce just one t-shirt and one pair of jeans? 10 liters. 100 liters. Wrong. 20,000 liters. Let me ask you this. Why is it that we have this strong need for consumer products and in fact demand them? Because it makes us happy. It can, it can lead to drug abuse, depression, and even suicide. I kid you not. It does not make you happy. I read that. 
more than 15 million tons of used textile waste is generated each year. We are the new generation. Mm. We are the go-getters of tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. If we don't change the world, who will? We have to do something. I have an idea. Yeah? What's that? Let's take a plane ride. I'm in. Where are we going? Vietnam. Nice. I love Vietnam. Isn't Vietnam one of our new southbound partners? Bingo! So, what are we going to do there? We're going to buy textile waste and recycle it. And what are we going to recycle it into? Sports drinks. What? It's ridiculous. And we're too young to even know how to write a business plan. Who says you have to be old to start a business? I bet you can't find a business partner in Vietnam. I bet you can't put a business plan together. Is that it there? That's it there. Right. Deal. Deal. Whoa! I thought traffic was crazy in Taiwan. We better get cracking. Dana, uh, Dana, we're here to turn nothing mm. into something. Mm, yes. But I'm nervous. What should we do? Smile. Give compliments. Show humility. Don't rush anything. Got it? Got it. Mr. Din. Ah, Mr. Din. Ah, Xingqiao. This is Mr. Dan. Mr. Din. I'm Kenny, and this is Dana. We would like to thank you for the opportunity to wear together. So, garment offcuts into sports strings. Mm. Intriguing. And you're willing to remove all of our textile waste for free? Absolutely. Well, in that case, we're very pleased to meet you. We do. Hey, you want to change the world? We do. Textiles into sports strings. Woohoo! Let's send our little offcuts to you. Thank you, Mr. Dean. Let's, Let's make, make a world view. Well done with the assistance you got from Mr. Dean. We've been busy too. We submitted our business plan to a startup site, and they love our idea. So, funding secure? Check. The business is registered? Check. Tech Agnpro Export License is obtained? Check. What about plastic? Biodegradable. Oh. I think we're ready. Let's break it down. The fast fashion industry has led to ever increasing consumption and waste generation. It is harmful to ourselves and the environment. The natural fiber in textile waste consists of mainly cellulosic material which can be used as a resource for producing bio-based products. We recover these simple sugars, such as glucose, fructose, and galactose from textile waste. We use these simple sugars in various ratios for the production of the very first eco-friendly energy drink. And what do we call it? Red Hat! Um, so... Who on the best? We did! <laughs> <laughs> Bob. Thank, Thank you! you.